Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to use the on-screen keyboard on your HP Omnibook X. To use the on-screen keyboard, simply, um, you, there are two methods of doing that. So you can see the screen, it's a touch screen. So uh, there are two different keyboards that can be displayed on the screen in Windows. And one of them is a legacy keyboard that has all the different buttons that uh, are on keyboards, including a numpad that can be enabled, some mm, buttons like end, page up, page down, print screen, stuff like that. Uh, the other one doesn't have all of the buttons, but is better for touch displays. So I'll show you both of them. The first one can be enabled in the settings, the second one as well, by the way. So yeah, the first one is gonna be an accessibility. And as you scroll down, you'll find keyboard and you'll be able to enable that on-screen keyboard. You can see this is how it looks. I think I may have the Polish layout because it has some keys. By the way, it's weird. It's not like the standard layout. It's a different layout than I typically would use. But yeah, there are some different um, keys here, stuff like that. The home key, uh, this legacy context menu key, Alt-GR, a fun key and everything else. Also, if you go to options, you can enable the numeric pod and um, yeah, you can minimize the keyboard. You can change its size, of course. Um, you can pin it to the taskbar. This is the icon, you can pin it so you don't lose it if you use it a lot. And now let's go to the second um, option, which is in uh, personalization. As you go to taskbar, you'll see touch keyboard and you can set it to always, for example. And now you'll see touch keyboard button on the taskbar right here. Once you click on it, it'll enable the touch keyboard. So yeah, it doesn't load for some reason. I don't know why, but it should be there. Okay, I managed to load it. So now I have this keyboard right here and um, I can just type in whatever I'd like, right? Um, and yeah, it seems better for touch. Uh, you can also click on settings in bottom, in top left corner to set it to the split mode. So it's better for typing with thumbs only or you can set it to other modes like the traditional it has a bit more keys, but still a bit less than the standard um, keyboard. You know, the one like the, the, the on-screen keyboard from accessibility. Uh, also, there's uh, like a gamepad. I didn't even know about that. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to default because in default, and I think in some other ones, you'll also see the button right here, which lets you undock the keyboard so it's you can move it around and also you can resize it i believe although i i don't really know how yeah i may be unable to mm. wait let's switch it to some standard layout okay never mind uh, yeah, so uh, sometimes you should be able to resize the keyboard by dragging its edge, but for some reason it's not possible here. And I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.